Hey guys, it's Don Music here. Uh, let's uh, quickly get this series of short vlogs out of the way. Turns out the uh, vlog that I posted yesterday, the first one I posted yesterday, which was called Home Vlog Number 7 by The Warning, was actually kind of the culmination of a not very pleasant experience for The Warning at the studio that they were recording in when they originally tried starting work on Queen of the Murder Scene album. I didn't realize that, and that's why they were so somber and thinking carefully about what they did and having some guidance from their manager and stuff. It's very interesting. So, turns out, there are actually six other, well, actually, really, seven other very brief vlog files before that. So I thought, let's just get them out of the way and watch them, then we can go on to some fun stuff. Alrighty, so let's start with this one. This one looks like the beginning to me. Los Angeles, we are almost there, and based on the year, it's five years ago. Let's check this out. Really interested to see what uh, what they say. If there's anything revealing in here, or if they just managed to stay on top of it all. I guess they are good people, and if the situation isn't fun, even the best of us crumble sometimes. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's try this. So what are you guys doing? I'm trying to get out of the way because people are moving things and we're just like <laughs> storlando. Yeah. I don't know how to say that in English. Guess the red. His name is Red. Dull knives. These are short vlogs. All right, let's do the next one. So guys, we're here in LA, but we arrived here. It was Thursday, right? Thursday. Yeah, well, we Friday. arrived. Yeah, well, we arrived pretty late. It was like five in the morning. We arrived, no, four in the morning, and we arrived in San Diego. We slept there, and then we drove here in LA to I'm sleepy too. LA. Yeah. And when we arrived, the first thing we did was literally work. The and second we got yeah, here, yeah, the second we like, got here, work, like, work, work, right. work, work. Uh, Frank, well, Francesco. And uh, Craig have been very helpful. They have a lot of new ideas, some crazy ideas. <laughs> and uh, we've been working all weekend long, trying to like balance them out and yeah. work with each other. And we're super excited to be here, honestly. We're gonna be working a lot. Is it really fun, a lot, honestly? A lot, a lot. Yeah, they even like set up like um, this like rehearsal room. Mm -hmm. Like they set up the drums, like uh, guitar amps. Uh, like, well, you have your guitar. They yes. like lend me a bass, and we have we've so been, many like, stuff here. Yeah, <laughs> and like, we've been like guitars. practicing. Like, yeah, it's been pretty a fun. Lot. I mean, we've been practicing, but we also like we've also had our breaks, yeah. which have, have been pretty fun. I mean, mm. LA is awesome, so yeah. it's pretty. I know. It's pretty nice. We actually have been living in the, the studio, studio. Yeah. so it's super comfortable to just like go upstairs, have a nap, quick nap, and then sounds like a nice place. Keep working, get back to work. Yeah. There are even video game machines here, so it's like it's really fun. <laughs> it's honestly, really sweet. yes, it's, been it's a little great. it's a little colder than back at home. A though. little, it's little. extremely cold. I know, here. freezing. We haven't we didn't even pack for this sort of yeah. weather but it's it's okay it's, it's pretty cool yeah. yes we're having a great time i know and uh well of course sorry guys we are not kind of like <laughs> very good at this kind of vlog thing <laughs> but we're working on it we want to tell you our whole experience we promise um and then well of course we have to get back to monterey for the, 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 killers. the killer show yeah. since i mean obviously we're super excited about that yeah, to be able to uh, play no in the arena of our hometown is huge for us yeah. and of it's course awesome. opening for this awesome band that we truly admire yeah we, yeah, we're, we're huge fans so we're gonna be like we're really 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 the crazy excited. fangirls backstage like singing all of the songs like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we love them too. it's gonna be I pretty know. fun I hope, I hope we get to meet them yeah, that'll be awesome that'll be really i know cool. that'll be super oh we're cool. really excited yeah so. I know, but yeah, that's kind of what it's been like uh, this past few days, and we'll keep you updated, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Ciao. Rock on. So some of us started already there, eh? Talking about uh, how they had some interesting ideas, and some of them are pretty crazy ideas. 
Hey guys, so um, today we finished our first day recording and, well, pal, you yes. recorded all day. <laughs> it, it was Drums. pretty fun. I'm pretty yeah. tired. Well, not pretty, I'm really tired. But it was, it was really good. We recorded two songs today. It was yep. quick, even though we had like a little setbacks. But we worked pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was really, really I mean, good. And although she was the one that recorded, we, we were, were playing, playing along playing. live. So, so yeah. it was a pretty yeah. exhausting day for us too. Yeah. Not not uh, physically, but mentally. As I still have the songs in my head, like yeah, and, the, and the sound of the snare drum, like in yeah, my head. Like, you think that it was bad for you? Just imagine yeah. how loud it was for me. <laughs> But I have blisters and everything. Yeah. But Actually, the, the recordings were really quick. We got in uh, two or three takes. Yeah, the first song was three you're, takes. you're awesome. Because I'm awesome. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, but, uh, we practiced them a uh, lot. So. Most of the time, what, we, what, what happened was we were trying to get the right sound. Well, we were the they Francesco were, and Craig and, and John. And John um, they were trying to get the yes. right sound. Yeah. So we changed the snare drum like, like a thousand times. No, it was three, three times. times. No, I, I changed it four times. I mean, it was three snares, but I changed it like five times. Yes, yes. and but cymbals and microphones and stuff like that. It was a long process. I mean, we started at what eleven? Yeah, eleven in the morning. Eleven, and, right and now it's we just finished like an hour ago. It's so like, and it's ten forty-three. So I mean, Lunch we worked break. all day. <laughs> wow, but. We worked it was pretty well. Yeah. The outcome was amazing, so and we're happy. We're pretty yeah. happy. And tomorrow. Oh, and, and tomorrow, tomorrow we record one more song on the drums, and, and we start bass. doing bass. Probably <laughs> two songs. I think we, we can, can do two songs. Three. 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 Ha, why not? Mm -hmm. Well, we never know yeah, if like the same thing happens. Yeah, we still have to search for sounds, sounds amps, and stuff like that. Bases. But still, I think it's gonna go by quickly. Yeah. yeah. So, good night, guys. That was our first day. Ciao! Okay, cool. Some exhaustion going on. Makes sense. Hey, guys. So, today was the... What day was it of recording? Third day? A, no, it's the no, second, second day. day. Second day of recording, It's the yes. second day of recording. And today, Pau finished the last song in drums... And then I did all three songs for bass. For bass. High five. Take a poof poof. Take a poof poof. Um, yes. Congratulations on that. You were great. Yay. It was it was really fun. And I played the three of the songs with pick. Oh yes, with a, with pick. a pick. All three? Which I don't normally do. <laughs> so it's a different sound and everything and it turned out great. It's interesting. I mean it was really fun. I played with with a different bass and it sounded really good and yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I recorded Meanwhile, drums. Yeah. Uh it was just one song and I finished and uh, we started about 11. Yeah. And I finished it before 12. It was pretty quick. Yeah. And uh the rest of the day while well, Ali was playing, <laughs> she was sleeping I was in the couch. I was falling asleep <laughs> on the couch. And I was like, recording. "You know what?" I'm gonna yeah, go I was recording, and then she just, like, we kind of were, like, uh, throwing, like, opinions about some stuff, and she was just, like, I, I was just falling this. asleep. Like, I prefer this. And, like, she was she falling asleep, asleep on me. Yeah, on that was shoulder. the pillow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah, but yeah, that was kind of basically our day. I worked with uh, Osvaldo, is this great uh, guitar player that's, uh, helping us yeah, helping yeah. us out too. Um, I worked with him on a new uh, some arrangements. <laughs> Let me arrangements. <laughs> yeah, some new uh, arrangements for guitar, and yes, I can't wait to start. There's so many guitars that I want to use them all in yeah, the yeah. recording. So, so today was a very good and productive, productive day. day. Yeah. Yes, we're a bit tired, but it was a good day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. A lot of hesitation there, but, you know, staying positive. Hey, guys. So we just got back from our first killer show. Oh. It was pretty it was awesome. Really That's why Allie's all dressed up. really, really good. There was so many people. We actually thought there was going to be, like, only they 200 people. They all have a show people, here, actually. Eh? But no. It, it was, was like, 
packed. Full, 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 full. It was a really good show. Oh, makeup too. We did pretty Your well. Danny. I hurt myself on yeah. the before last the last song. song. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I couldn't play kind of well. Um, I Ouch. couldn't move my finger, and I just saw like a chunk here, and I was like, oh my god, if that's my bone, I'm gonna die. I thought I yeah. had broken it, and I was pretty Seriously. scared. So after we got, like, I played until the end. I played well and everything. It yes, hurt yeah. like hell because I couldn't move it. But wow. and I just got off the stage and I started crying. Yeah, she was like, I was oh. really but it's amazing scared. that you yeah. like got through it. We didn't even notice. Yeah, like when like, she no, when we was... like bowed, she told me like, don't grab my hand, don't grab my hand. It hurt a lot. What happened? So I just started crying yeah. a lot. I was pretty scared that I was broken, but no. It's fine. It just hurts a little. So after that, we saw the killers on their show. It was amazing. It was they're amazing. they're amazing. amazing. It was great. It was yeah. really fun. And really like, huge fans. So we knew everyone. Was My mom told me not to sing along for me to take care of my voice for the next day, but I just couldn't. Nah. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I had to sing. <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty fun. Everything went great. We played really well. I think it's one of our best shows that we've had. And people, we got a really good response from people. Yeah. Yes, and we are ready for it tomorrow. Yeah, we're yeah. pretty tired, so I think we're gonna go and sleep. So, good night, guys. Bye. Well, that was, a, see, there's a difference in energy there, eh? 10 times more energy right there. Uh, for a guitar. 10 times more energy there than they have for each of these studio vlogs. Now, uh, I know it's because they love playing live and they obviously had a great show and it was quite legendary. That killer show was really good, apparently. Poor pal going through that with their finger, though. But, uh, wow. Just in this screen grab right now, the genes in this family are very strong. Look at the similarity. It, they don't often look exactly the same, but they look very similar here. <laughs> Especially when you only see like the top part of Ally. Yeah, wow. Anyway, um, yeah, it's interesting uh, because the, it, they've been really cautious and low-key and exhausted sounding with the uh, Sphere Studios ones. Hey guys, so this is going to be a really long vlog because we haven't done it in the last couple of days. We've been so busy. But okay, I guess we should start with... Killers. The Killers. The Killers. Okay. Want to say something first? It was great. I know. It was good. It was, it was, really, it was great. really good. We had an awesome time, so much fun. Well, except for the the first one, the finger thing. But yeah. the second night, it was really um, fun. since the last night it had gone like at least for me, it had been pretty rocky at the end. I really wanted to have fun the second night. I was like, if I'm gonna do this for a living, I mean, I, I gotta have fun, right? <laughs> so I just went up there like with that mentality, and it was literally our best, best show. show. It was ever. really fun. We it was felt really fun. Really confident. We had so much fun. I just like I was running around oh, all around the stage. <laughs> it, it was pretty fun. It was great. It was easily our best, best show, show yeah. ever. I know. We couldn't uh believe, of course, that we uh like, had that opportunity and we met the killers after, after the, the show. show. Oh cool, so, they did, eh? Even That's more great. amazing. Yeah. There were so so sweet, sweet very and they nice. were so tall. tall. They were huge. <laughs> we didn't expect it at all. And, and after then that, I had to run because from there it was directly to the airport. Yeah. Me and my dad were gonna fly back sooner than us because she had guys. to record guitars. guitars. Yeah. Yes, I actually missed two days worth of recording guitars, so we had to speed things up a bit so i got changed really quickly we went straight to the airport and flew to mexico city and then we were gonna have a connecting flight to la right. at like 4 a.m in the morning oh, man. but then oh surprise our flight got canceled no it was horrible well on the on the right side i got to sleep more and rest <laughs> a little bit but That's actually a glass half full. we end up awesome. uh, leaving until 11 a.m and then we got here and i uh like at 1 30 la time and then i just grabbed a quick bite to eat and boom Record it. recording straight away and we stayed uh recording guitars until 12. yeah well, we night. arrived yeah. Uh, yeah. about um yeah nine o'clock yeah here thank mm -hmm. god we, our flight didn't it was just finish. like my mom rudy and us yeah. we were on alone well not alone. it was so we weird yeah. 
It was without so, you, it took yeah, it was Charlie really weird. without you. I was so bored. Yeah. <laughs> but I was glad because you you couldn't annoy me. So. <laughs> but I mean, after that, I mean, you started recording guitars. And mm -hmm. It went great. It it was a different experience recording guitars. I, I had so many options of guitars that I was really happy about that. Uh, different amps, different cabs, everything. It was just a wonderful experience, and. We had the opportunity to work with this guy who was the tech uh, for guitar. His name is Rem. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Is Mad Madriz? Well, his name is Rem. <laughs> he was such a nice guy. Really I got nice. to learn really, really. a lot from him, and the whole experience was just awesome. Had a great time. And then, so we are done with guitars. Yeah. And the next thing is vocals. vocals, which start Monday. 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 Yes. And, and we're gonna work with Larry King. That's the the, the vocal, the vocal coach. Producer? Yeah. Producer. Yes, we're excited about really it. Really cool guy. Yes. We're pretty excited about it. Yeah. Kind of nervous, but it, I think it's gonna be great. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yesterday was basically just like rest a little bit. Right now, you can see it on our face that we were just <laughs> sleeping right now. Yes. But it's been fun, and we're resting so we can. On Monday, we can go at it with full steam ahead. Yes. But so. we'll send you more updates on how that goes later on. Good yeah, guys. guys. Cool. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Well, this is interesting. It is brief, and they're staying very positive. Hey, guys. Um, so we want to talk to you about what we did these past few days. We recorded vocals. Yay. It was a whole new experience for us because we have never uh, recorded vocals that way, I guess. It was our first time with a vocal producer. His name is Larry King and he is awesome, really. He has such a cool voice. It was, it was pretty cool. We learned a lot. That was probably the most important thing in all of this experience that we learned a lot. And I think we're going back to Monterey with like a lot of more like information that could help us with future songwriting. This is gonna be amazing now that we have all these hmm. tools to work with. But in the, yeah, but to sum up our experience at Fear Studios, we, Fear, <laughs> Sphere Studios, we had an <laughs> awesome time, really. We learned a lot, we finished now three songs already, and Freudian we are slip. super excited to see what happens next. Right now we're heading back to uh, Monterey. Monterey to work on a lot of stuff because we have the Roxy Fest coming up and then the Hell in Heaven. Plus we still uh, still still have to work on uh, more original songs and see what is gonna happen next for the album. Oh yeah, that was that's it guys. So good night. Ciao. Well that was certainly interesting. Definitely reserved. Yeah. I don't know how to say that in English. Definitely reserved. Pow is the interesting one in this. The looks that she gives Danny when Danny says something positive or like, really? That's what you're saying? I think she's she's the one who's having the hardest time holding back, eh? But uh, it sounds like from what I understand, it was Danny who actually didn't hold back in the actual studio. But uh, I, the only thing that concerned me about all this well, a few things did. I mean, it sucks at their age that they had to go through this and then miss things because they had two major shows to perform and then to be considered two days late on guitar tracking. That's kind of crappy. Uh, but uh, the thing that bugs me is Alejandra had to record all of her bass parts with a pick. It's great to want to learn how to play with a pick and there are uses for it and it does sound good as she has learned. But tons of the world's greatest bassists Never use a pick. World's greatest. Tone and everything. You don't need a pick to sound amazing. There's no need for it. And it's not like her technique with fingerstyle is poor. Her technique with fingerstyle is excellent. And she was being she was playing a bass that wasn't hers. And there seems to be a common thing going on there, which is frustrating with producers and her. She owned an incredible bass, actually two of them at that time, I believe, thanks to I guess his name is Thomas. And there was nothing wrong with either of them. They were better bases than I own currently, I think. And uh, now she owns one of the greatest bases around. And before she owned this base that she, her 
custom model. She had a very similar stock model with similar features, which she still has off and on, I think. Maybe the whole time. Yeah, she, I think she actually still has it all the time because she used it in the Mori video. Um, so the natural wood finish instead of the Alley's Inferno finish. <laughs> and uh, those things, um, the, the producers that tell Alejandra not to do something or to play a different way, clearly I've spent zero time actually listening to her play in any of the uh, concerts, concert footage that's on YouTube. It's obvious, especially when you look at her playing in the uh, Fender Mustang that she used to play. It's all kind of ludicrous, actually. I wish I was as accurate a player as Alejandra is, and I'm a very good bassist. But she is more accurate than I am, and more consistent, I think, than I am. And she's much younger than I am. And I've played since I was 13, played bass since I was 13. So, I mean, yeah, she has a head start, but still, I've been doing it a lot longer. So I look at these uh, situations I'm hearing, and it bugs me, because it tells me that, uh, you know, they're at the hands of producers who are making them do things because of their being stuck inside a box of their own history of doing things one way. And uh, rather than looking at what they had and realizing that it was perfectly great the way it was and they could get more out of it without changing it. That's the main thing. When you're a teacher or a coach, someone who's got some talent and has some history and hard work behind them, try to work with what they've brought with them in their tool set, in their heads, and their physical skills and experience and practice. You don't go changing it all up. That's not productive. It, you can you can add you can teach someone how to add new skills to their toolbox and improve with the skills that they have, but don't make them no longer use the skills that they have. That's just bizarre. And as a bassist, it's really really strange. Like as far as just you know songwriting production choices that were kind of forced upon them. As far as uh, how they were going to do their songs, that sucks. But that stuff is going to happen sometimes, and you got to stand up to them. And it looks like they, they learned how to stand up to them, at least, or Danny did. But Alejandra, so far, from what I understand, for the at least second and third albums, has been in a situation where she kind of had to back down on one or two decisions that I personally would find rather critical. Um, and uh, it sucks. I mean, if I'm a paid session player, I'll do whatever I'm told, which is generally what I do. But, I mean, I used to own like some pretty damn amazing instruments, and I bring them into studios. For my own work, no one's telling me not to use those. No one's telling me how to play. No one's telling me how to use what technique to use. This is my music. I'll play it and record it my way with my instruments. You guys make me sound as good as you possibly can and help me to get the best out of this system that I'm working with, you know? That's what producers are for. Hey guys, I added one more video that I just stumbled across. So I'm editing the video that I made of the uh, Sphere Studios brief vlogs. That's, there seem to be like six of them. Six or seven of them. So I'm adding this one in. It claims to be the first day of recording, but they certainly seem to accomplish a lot if it's the first day. Uh, it's one minute 45, and I looked at a bit of it, and I'm like, okay, this looks kind of cool. They actually have a bit of audio, and it's a little more positive than some of the other ones. So let's take a look. Hey, hey. So it's my takeover today, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the studio and what we've been doing here. It's gonna be awesome. Stick around. Pow. Pow is doing. Dun, 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 dun. Here. We're in the studio. Pow, say hi. What's up? Dude, that's what I was talking about. I was just talking about this in another video, like a day or two ago. Was it the end video? It might have been in the end video. It was one of the videos where she's playing. I know I talked about the solo, uh, her playing this uh, Manson guitar, and how Manson guitars, there's those two silver things on the body they, on some of their models that uh, you can unscrew and take off and then you can throw in a chaos pad which is a uh, effector and synthesizing sy synthesizer generator since like pattern generator um it's just a really cool musical creative tool that's a touch screen controlled with wild looking lights on it that's it right there i'm pointing at my monitor again that's really helpful to you see the light glow glowing rectangle on her guitar that's the thing. So she actually did have it in the Manson for a while. That is so sweet. And then she took it off and never used it again, which I kind of don't blame her. Gadgets are fun, but they're not the most important thing. Playing music is. But still, that's really, really cool. Ooh.
interesting. Very interesting. Yep, that's a good close-up of it right there. Awesome. So she had the whole chaos pad option on it for a while. Huh. Go figure. It can be a pain, right? Because if you accidentally touch it, things can happen to your sound. And it also uses batteries and has to be recharged, which is a pain in the butt. And it uses batteries, but I think it has to be recharged, which is, yeah. Battery-powered things, rechargeable things in guitars are not always fun because they tend to go through power really fast. Active basses, you can have them last for, like, years. It depends on the, the bass design. But a guitar with this sort of electronics in it, it can last hours before you have to replace the batteries or recharge it. And that's just, just a hassle. Unless you have an external power supply, which is also a hassle. Anyway, so I can see why people remove these and don't use them. Nice place. Look at that, that library at the wall there. Wow. Seems like an amazing studio, i got to say. Well, that was interesting. Um, so that brings us to uh, a couple of concepts that were also mentioned by Pow in much more recent videos. I saw something. Where was it? You know what? It might have been, I don't know, if it was something I reacted to or something I just saw in someone else's stream. Um, but Pow said that she doesn't like uh, recording. Oh, I think it might have been in her master class. Maybe it was in her master class. You guys tell me. Uh, and I'll go through that whole thing with you guys sometime. But when I was searching for that quote about time and Allie's perfect time from Pow, I remember seeing something about this. She doesn't like recording, or didn't at least in the old days, with... Uh, real instruments going on beside her. She likes to record the tracks. She doesn't want to record like as a live band. And it's interesting because they commented in one of these vlogs about Sphere Studios that her sisters were playing in real time with her. They weren't in the room with her necessarily, but they were playing real time with her. And I mean, it's actually a really good way to do things, but I, I can understand also some of the challenges with it. But this what a, yet another negative experience I would say for her, where maybe she had a negative experience in the studio, not necessarily because of this, but just the whole thing was negative for her. Pow. So one of her takeaways is I'm not going to do that anymore because it wasn't a good thing for me. But you learn, right? You live and you learn what works best for you. It's hard when uh, people are pushed into doing something that's out of their comfort zone, especially when they're paying on a clock to do so. That's kind of rough. Anyway, thought that was a cool video for sure. Need to hear some of the tracks. So I, also, if I understand right, that means that Alejandra was playing with a pick there. She was playing that bass part with a pick. I wonder. Or she was just playing with finger style because she wasn't actually tracking at that point. She was just playing live. It sounded awesome on the bass, I gotta say. It sounded really good. All that sounded great. Anyway, thanks. Cheers. This is interesting. Not super revealing, but that thing about the bass picks is just <laughs> insane, actually. But uh, yeah. All right. I'll stop this one here and we'll look for something more positive tomorrow. But I think this is positive anyway. It sounds like they came away learning stuff and trying to find a silver lining in a crappy, crappy flower pot. Let's make some new metaphors up here. Yeah, they're, you know, looking for a new light bulb in the clouds. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Have a great night. Like, subscribe, comment. Rock on. <laughs>